Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're on John W. Brown, a Liberty ship in Baltimore, Maryland, that still gets underway. We were on board for steam school this past weekend, and one of the really cool things we learned is how you oil these triple expansion engines. Now the Liberty ships are mass produced, they're built quickly, and they're built with very simple manual equipment by and large. There's a number of places where you go around with an oil can or a grease gun or any number of other systems and just oil it. And, and there is, uh, in the engine room crew, typically three sailors on watch at any given time. There's an engineer who's responsible for the plant. There is a water tender who's between the boilers. And then there's an oiler who's going around and uh, oiling all the equipment, the auxiliaries, the mains, uh, several times throughout the watch. So one person's entire job is just to go around and make sure everything is oiled. Uh, it's a very different from Battleship New Jersey where the oil just sprays into the reduction gears automatically. Like all of those various systems, like obviously you gotta maintain the equipment, the pumps that are circulating the oil and all that sort of stuff. But for lubricating oil, there isn't a lot of manual hands-on, gotta go around and lubricate stuff. And that's an entire job here on John W. Brown, every single watch. The coolest system in the oiling process, in my opinion, is the Wix. It's the closest thing to the automatic oiling type systems that you see on the battleship. And uh, at various places where you need lube oil to circulate, they have boxes like this one. And each box has a wick in it you can see this is just a, a regular undyed piece of yarn, or in this instance, several pieces of yarn. And each piece of yarn will drip a certain amount of oil per minute. So if you have a machine like this, the low pressure end of the triple expansion steam engine, one of your most critical pieces of equipment, you're gonna have several pieces of yarn on here so that you're getting several drips of lubrication per minute. You can see that it is dripping off of here. Now, notice that these various wicks are all sitting in a bed of oil. So the oil is being wicked up by the ends and it's actually dripping down off of this end when it's in use. Let me show you. You would lay this in the oil so now you see it's largely submerged, it's absorbing that oil, and then when you press this down here, the oil is being wicked up from the pot down that hole, and it goes down this tube to wherever it's supposed to be dispensed. So the oiler has to come through periodically, top this box off, and make sure that the wicks are still doing their job right. If something happens and the wicks end up getting crossed on themselves or they don't uh, get in here perfectly, then they're not gonna drip oil and you're gonna start to see your bearings and other surfaces get really hot down below. Any of you guys have seen the, the fantastic movie Sand Pebbles, Steve McQueen is operating a triple expansion engine just like this one in that movie. And uh, you, you see several scenes where he's using his bare hand to touch various rotating surfaces to make sure that they're not getting too hot. And, and this is how you do that. That's a really, really cool system in that it's ridiculously simple. It, it's so simple, it's hard to believe that this is how huge ships like Titanic would have oiled their engines. The oil wicks are easily the system that blew my mind the most while I was on board John W. Brown this time, but they're far from the only system that blew my mind. If you're interested in seeing this plant in operation, you've got a couple of opportunities. Check out the link below to John W. Brown's website. They have something called Steam School, which is a weekend long program where you learn how to operate their steam boilers and engines. And they have living history cruises a couple of times a year where you can sail on board the ship and come down the engine room and see the plant in operation at that time too. They have a ton of fantastic volunteers around who you can just follow around as they're doing their work and they'll tell you what they're doing and why. That's how I learned about uh, these systems. 
Have you ever gotten the chance to sail on a ship underway? Let us know in the comment section down below which ones. I've gotten to sail on John W. Brown a couple of times now. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, as well as from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below to support the ongoing restoration of John W. Brown. That support helps keep this ship underway so that she can continue to operate original World War II era steam equipment. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about our museum and the channel. Thanks for watching.